running this uh, 2010 Suzuki 9.9 uh, high thrust long shaft direct XL shaft uh, whatever power tilt trim electric start all that shit uh, after fixing everything on it this was a pain in the ass so the customer brought this over and the ship the upper and lower shift rods there's your upper shift rod, but the upper and lower shift rod, that was bent as all hell. Um, he's missing this other piece for the other side, so I have it strapped right now, so when I put it in reverse, it won't kick back from this. I'm kind of, yeah. <laughs> these are supposed to go on the other, or on both sides and clamp into each other. It's hard to do this shit with one hand. But, yeah, so these two halves are supposed to, he's missing the other half. I gotta order all that crap. Um, they keep everything together on here and I'm just using a strap, but the, it was a pain in the ass. I had to uh, remove the lower unit and I was able to shift it from down below. I heated up and bent back the lower shift rod in the lower unit, put a new water pump impeller and stuff in it. Then I had to completely take apart the motor remove it from the whole clamp bracket swivel bracket assembly to pull the upper uh, shift rod out of there to remove it uh, heat it bend it and put everything back together again uh, it was a pain in the ass but I got her done so right now the only thing he needs is the missing parts for the other side to keep everything together and that's why I'm using this ratchet strap right now so it was stuck in four gear, upper and lower shift rods are bent, um, it was a pain in the ass, but I got her done. This is on the 2011 uh, North River boat, 24 foot. Had to clear out the little P tube and all that crap too, but got the ship linkage adjusted right. So there's reverse. There's reverse. Neutral. Neutral. Ford. It's Ford. So he was told by, I think he said two different shops that it wasn't fixable and uh, that they're trying to sell him a new motor pretty much. So he brought it to me so I can fix it for him. Move back to neutral. Like I said, he's missing this other half on this side. The two bolts, the nuts, the washers, and the little sleeve thing that goes through that hole right there. That little sleeve thing it goes through that hole down there. Um, and the bolts go through the nuts and everything else, but that just keeps everything tied together. That's what this is for. It's hard to do this shit with one hand. So, short term until uh, he gets, until I get the parts in to put everything back together with that. Would it be either get a ratchet strap like I did and do it like this or to get one of those big metal um, stainless steel straps that you just screw in to tighten uh, and do it like that temporarily until all the parts come in. But the motor's running good. It's shifting into forward, neutral, reverse good like it should. Um, I got her done. It was a pain in my ass. But I got her done.